That is a shotgun, a crossbow, and it's an air gun. We meet one crazy cowboy. What's hot at shot? Kayak Brin's been living it large in Las Vegas. And we visit a new air rifle range in the West Country. Welcome to Airheads. Apart from a cheeky bottle of moonshine, the only accelerant you'll find in Terry Tate's workshop is compressed air. You've got to be into air. He has spent years pushing the boundaries of air-powered weapons. That challenge of doing something that's not firearm. Firearms are easy. It's the sheer variety of projectiles that he works with that makes the mind boggle. And then he says he has one piece of kit that'll work as an air shotgun, an air rifle, and it will even shoot crossbow bolts with a simple insert. Let's start with this gun being used as a shotgun. Over to Terry to explain how we load this multitasking tool. One ounce of number four shot that goes in, and you can shoot more shot. The more you shoot, the slower it shoots and one ounce is what we tune them for. Then you take a shot wad and go back on top of it with a shot wad. Push it down. And you have your finished shell. Won't come out, won't do anything. You carry it, chunk it around, throw it in your pouch. I can load 20 shotgun shells in three minutes. It's a simple break open shotgun. You just push the release button. The action will pop up. Take your shell out. Drop your other one in. Close it back till it snaps. Always make sure that it's snapped good. Cock it right here. Back, your hammer's cocked. It's ready to fire. Your safety's on this side. Back for safe, forward for fire. At 30 yards with a cylinder bore, you're gonna get about a 30 inch group. We also shoot a extra full choke and it'll bring it down from the 30 inch to 15 inches at 30 yards. He gets three shots from a fill, but there is zero, and we mean zero kick, and that has huge appeal. They're shooting turkey in California. We shoot feral pigeons. We shoot ring neck dove here, shoot clays. Not a whole lot of people shooting these right now because they're just getting out there. So, having sorted out those pigeons around the farmyard, you spot a coyote hassling your livestock. You need to change over to a rifle. The thing is with this, it's not just a shotgun. It converts into a rifle by simply loading the rifle barrel, and this is a 45 caliber rifle barrel, right into your tube. The rifle barrel is eight inches long. You drop your round ball into it, close it up, we croned it yesterday and it was shooting them at 800 feet a second. And now you have a rifle. By the way, I do have this chambered where you can put two 45 caliber round balls into this. Close it up and we'll see what they'll do on the target. These are the two round ball holes right here. So, having dealt with our coyote, a feral hog rocks up to mess up your pasture. And because you're out of lead, you grab the arrow from your quiver. 425 grain crossbow bolt. I have an expandable broadhead on the, on the end. And what I do to load this in is I put it in, turn it counterclockwise, okay? Open the chamber up. Turn it in, push it down. It's a little tight, but I think it's gonna be fine. Now you can shoot an arrow out of your shotgun. And it shoots this 425 grain arrow at about 600 feet a second. The arrow's fletching might need a refit, but it flies well, and to be honest, it's astonishing the thing works at all. With huge manufacturers making noises about their various air bows, Terry has been there, done that, and then some. We built a 308 
shrouded 308, 457 shrouded, and a unshrouded 457. If you want to learn more about Terry and his bespoke air guns, go to professionalbigboreairguns.com. There is not much that Terry Tate from the Lone Star State does not know about air power. Now, from high pressures to low depressions, it's David with hot air. This is hot air. The new Air Arms Bullpup, the Galahad, had its first outing at the SHOT Show. With the same power plant and magazine system as the S410, S510 range, it has an aluminium forward mounting cocking lever at the centre of the action, making it easier to cock the rifle. And this helps the shooter keep on target by reducing body movement. There's more about the Galahad later in the show. Umrex USA revealed three new innovations at the SHOT Show. Stop Shocks is a new way to absorb shock and vibration in air rifles in conjunction with a floating action. The Nucleus Rail is an air rifle stock platform engineered to combine the technologies of a Picatinny rail and an insulating sheath. And the Turbo Nitrogen Technology Pellet Propulsion System reduces the noise and vibration of Springer air guns. Bye Jove. If you buy a Remington branded air rifle, you'll find a Crossman underneath. Crosman Corporation has secured exclusive rights to offer airgun products featuring the iconic Remington label. Remy airguns will include Crosman's Nitro Piston and Nitro Piston 2 technologies. The new Benjamin Pioneer Airbow continues to hold media interest. Here is YouTube channel The Airgun Hunter trying it out at the 2016 SHOT Show with Benjamin Pro Staff member Airgun Man Glenn Elliott. In squirrel news, Greater Manchester Police witnessed a squirrel grabbing an apple and diving up a tree with it. They took photos of the daylight raid and have now posted an unofficial wanted post on their Facebook page. And finally, we have beaten the invaders on South Georgia once again. This time it's rats and it looks like they've been completely eradicated from the island after a campaign to kill them with poison, safeguarding birds such as the South Georgia Pipit. Team Rat, the field team that carried out the work, has even released a book about how they did it called Reclaiming South Georgia, the defeat of furry invaders on a sub-Antarctic island. It's priced at £25. Visit Bitly South Georgia Rats. You are now to date with Hot Air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. Now the SHOT Show in Las Vegas is the big showcase for all the world's air gun manufacturers. Kayak Bryn has been over there for us to see what's hot at SHOT. <laughs> I've had a quick look inside already and it's just overwhelming. There's everything from military, hunting, and it's all for the trade. So now we're going to take a look around and see what this show's all about. Air Arms have got a big special release, a new rifle, so we're going to go check it out now. Hey buddy, how you doing? Hey. Good, thanks. Good to see you. Honey. Yeah, really, really awesome. good. What do you think of the show? It's massive, isn't it? It's huge. I got getting lost so often. I know. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. I, I didn't like it at first because I'm not used to a ballpark, okay? Yes. So I'm used to like a conventional rifle. Yes. So these things look a bit like alien predator yeah. type things. They, exactly. they don't. It's it's a comp it's totally different to the more traditional looking rifles that Elm's yeah. been making for forever. Yeah. yeah. It's totally different. So I can understand if there's people that are a bit uncertain about it at first. Yeah. But I do think it will grow on them. But it has a place, doesn't it? The good, it does. The good things about these, I mean, I, ha I have tested one out before, and it's for freestanding shooting and balancing, oh, yes. you, you just can't beat it, can you? Yes. I mean, you're getting the same length barrel, the same length, same size cylinder, yeah. but further back. Yeah. So it feels, feels shorter, the weight is further back, so yeah. it feels a bit lighter but it's got exactly the same features, so there's definitely a, a, yeah. definitely a benefit to it. Well, let's just take a look at it, because this one in particular is a beach stock, isn't it? So, yes, yes, so this is a beach stock, and they also do one which is a, uh, a beach stock with, a, with like a rubber coating on yes, it, a black one, great. and also a walnut, so you've got, yes. you've got a few different types of stocks. But already, like, to pick this up, it's, a, it's, it's quite a weighty rifle, but it is. 
you need that with one of these, don't you? For when you're holding it? Uh, yes, you do. It, it helps you, uh, the, that extra inertia helps to keep you still. That's right, yeah. Yes. And the fact is that you've got, you've got the side cocking lever here. So when you're using it and you're shooting it, all you have to do It's, it's easy. It's, it's easy. Very easy. Uh, it's nice that you don't have to take your eye off the off the scope. Yeah. When you take a shot, that's one of the biggest problems I've yeah. had with bullpups in the past. But this gun isn't isn't like that. And you're talking about the the weight of it. Yeah. If you do want it to have a lighter gun, then you've always got the. Let's get that one over here. Shorter version. Yeah. So this is the carbine version. The short version of exactly the same gun. It's a little bit lighter. Yeah. It's a little bit more compact, but essentially it's exactly the same. That's right. When yeah, you've got a bipod on this, but really, you don't really need a bipod on it because it's, I said, it's designed for more like freestand shooting. Yes. And again, it's really easy to use. It's, it's so simple to use. So I'm looking forward to when we get back to England to testing one of these bad boys out. Definitely. So, uh, one more thing. Yeah. There's a, there's a spirit level. At the back here. A bubble level at the back. So you can actually um, make sure that you've got no cant error. In yeah. The shoot, which is very important because with bullpups, uh, often the scope tends to be high above the barrel. Yeah. So any cant error is going to be quite a problem. So that is a very essential part. I think it's going to be very important. That is that is a really good feature actually. It's very cool. A really good. So there we go. The new Galahad by Air Arms. I can't wait to test it out. So you have to come back very to fancy. England. Oh, I'm going to have to. <laughs> definitely. Come back at mine and we'll. Uh, We'll test these out. So, Definitely. anyway, Matt, thank you very much. I'm just going to take this home now. So, uh, <laughs> just steal it. Yeah. Steal it. This was done by an attendee at, on the uh, range day, media day at the range on Monday. First time they had seen the platform. First time they shot the platform. Two shots had no problem sinking one to the other. That's Robin Hood stuff right there. Absolutely. Right? So can you, can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, man, the range of this, sorry? Uh, we're advertising two inch groups at 50 yards. We're sending these arrows down range at 450 feet per second. You're going to get eight shots off of a field before you're going to want to top it off again. After eight shots, you're no longer on regulated air, so you're going to see your velocity start to go down at that point, so it's good just to top off again. Of course, in a hunting application, you're not going to shoot more than once or twice, but it's great to have access to a lot of shots when you're getting your optics sighted in or just having fun doing some target practice. Okay, so at the SHOT Show still, I've just bumped into Eva. Eva, it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You haven't been to England yet, have you? I haven't been hunting in England. Hunted in England, yeah. yeah. I love England, but I haven't been over there, unfortunately, to go hunting. Come over, come and, come and meet us. And, uh, I'm going to hold you to that. Like, All right, hey, then. okay. Uh, it's Eva, I'm in England and I'm ready to go hunting. <laughs> brilliant. So hey, we'll send you an email and we'll sort that out and I can teach you to cook as well. So, Perfect. Brilliant. My husband will appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Bring him over too, we'll have a party. Perfect. So, anyway, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your show, okay? You too. Thank nice you. To see you. So I'm here the second day of the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. Really big event, really quite exciting. But what's also exciting here, we've got the new smock from Shooter King. It's made with Kajura laminated membrane. It's got a front pocket for your binoculars as well as a zip. But the front pocket's got magnetic, so you don't have to always close the zip. So if you're wearing gloves, you just put your, take your binos out and put them back in with ease. It was designed by myself and a few other people after my recent trip to Scotland. It's going to keep you nice and warm and dry and away from the elements. It's great. Just coming to the end now of uh, my first week in Vegas ever, and it's absolutely mind blowing. Got the, the Bellagio to my right, the Eiffel Tower to my front. The place is absolutely overwhelming. I've had a really good time. Seen so many people, made some friends, our British friends, our exhibitors. So now it's time to uh, head to the desert tomorrow and uh, hopefully head to the Grand Canyon. So uh, the excitement still continues. The shooting industry looking in fine health there. And another indicator is the number of ranges opening up. Here's one I visited in Somerset. 
I have come to the rifleman shop near Langport in Somerset to meet one of the owners, Mark Tutton. First question, why should gun shops open ranges? Uh, we realised before we, sh- we started and opened the shop that we needed to be something else as well. We have a 90 yard air rifle range which is adding value to the business uh, and we do other things to add value such as um, reloading courses for centre fire rifles. We do awareness, introduction to centre fire and rim fire. We do all sorts of uh, introduction to air rifle shooting as well. This range opened uh, mid-November, just gone. So we're barely two months old. Uh, It's worst case because it's mid-winter, it's been wet as you know. It's incredibly wet underfoot, but it's okay, it's doing good. Um, And what kind of uh, groups are you getting here? All sorts, from four and five year olds up to people that are probably in their 90s sometimes and having a go. Hey. Yeah. Do you like shooting on the range? Yes, I love it. Have you, have you had this, this sense that, you know, we don't want a rifle range near us because they're bad people? Yes, very much so, especially during the planning application. There were lots of ill-conceived, misunderstood conceptions about guns. You know, guns are noisy and very dangerous and, and a lot of people have no idea with the difference between an air rifle and an elephant gun. We, we made a point and especially our landlords made a point of going around and having a chat with a few people. We had some people come into the shop and said what's it all about. We had to put on various demonstrations and show people that yeah, it's an air rifle that will go no more than 30 or 40 yards with with any powers, um, we had to ensure them or assure them that there were safety aspects built into the range and it wouldn't keep them awake either early in the morning or late at night and we had to just demonstrate what it was about. We've got 10 open lanes up to 90 yards yards long, Uh, the target starts at 15 yards and, and end at 90 yards and we have two covered lanes for zeroing competitions and things like that. So we are in sunny South Somerset. So we are just down the road from Langport, about halfway between Taunton and Yeovil. If you drew a line diagonally between the two towns, we're just about halfway on the Somerset levels. For more about Rifleman, go to riflemanfirearms.com. From the village of Hambridge to the wider world of air gunning on YouTube, it is air streaming. Charlie Jacoby here, this is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Squirrel Hunter shows his preparation and how errors can still creep in. He is squirrel and rat shooting with predator polymag pellets. ex is grey squirrel hunting on the other side of the Atlantic. It's another air gun adventure from this top channel. Florida Bullfrog takes an 80 yard headshot at a raccoon in this film. He's using a 25 caliber Benjamin Marauder. Air Gun Gear Show leads a full pack of reviews in this week's air streaming. He is looking at the Walther Century GT Springer air rifle. At the SHOT Show 2016, a rock veteran 8888 looks at Air Force Air Gun's new 308 and 357 Texans with the help of Rick Ward, the urban air gunner. While everyone is getting excited about Air Arms Galahad, here is FX's new bullpup. Air Guns of Arizona reviews the FX Wildcat. Another bullpup on the stocks is the Hats and Gladius Integrally Suppressed Rifle. Available in a short and long version, it's in 177, 22 and 25 calibers. And finally, exploding pressurised soda bottle with air guns don't tell the wife for sale from Megaboom Target System says the air gun hunter and that says it all. Links to watch the videos are in this film's description if you would like to send in a video for air streaming ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv Now here's a good idea from Air Arms it's part of the Air Arms DIY series an instructional guide on YouTube that helps you maintain, repair and even fit accessories. This film shows how to remove a jammed pellet stuck in your rifle. Air Arms technician Chris Kemp shows what to do with pesky pellets. Catch the rest of the DIY series on Air Arms YouTube channel. Well, that is it for Airheads this week from a blowy field in Somerset. I'll say goodbye. See you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.